Shalom, Shalom, Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great ministry. I'm teaching real well. Peace and salutations to the hope for all legs scattered abroad. My name is Abar from the Prophets of Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to do a quick little video. I ain't going to make it too long. You know, but I saw this post right here. It says Germany will return 7,000 stolen Benin Kingdom artifacts to Nigeria in October 2021. You see? So. These artifacts that were stolen, they had they have to get to uh, get to uh, get them back now. You see, and do, instantly I immediately went to this scripture right here. Um, it's it's me what pop, what popped in my head. You see, because these devils, they everything they have gotten, they gotten it you know through um wickedness, man, rape, robbery, and murder. It says Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So, because of unrighteous Induction dealings, that we use. Oh man, it's going now. Um, bear with me one second. Because of unrighteous dealings, though, and riches gotten by deceit. Um, what was it? And riches gotten by deceit. You know this place, um, the these uh, heathens have, have 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 gotten in power, and it's talking about Germany. All right, so Germany had. Um, I thought it was I thought it was a hilarious. Somebody here commented. Rico Mello says, "Yeah, now return all of our fucking resources." And and you know these devils would never do that. You know they pretty much ran off with this stuff. Made all types of money off of it, and when it's not valuable to them anymore, now they want to get it. Now they want to give it back. It says the first returns are planned for twenty twenty two. So they said, um, it says here they're supposed to be giving it back in October twenty twenty one, but then it says the first returns are planned for twenty twenty two. So they probably ain't, ain't, ain't giving shit back. You know, that's how they, how these devils work, man. You know. That uh fork tongue to say, oh yeah, we, we we sorry and you know we feel bad, but the whole time they you know still glad that it happened because it you know these things helped them become the ruling class nation. You know, I'm talking about Esau as a whole. It says in a joint declaration published Thursday, Germany's uh, Ministry of Culture, State Minister, and Museum di the Directors. So like you commented to subservient, uh, subs, uh, so like your substantive returns of Benin uh, bronzes artwork made of bronze, brass, and ivory that were taken by the British army in a raid on the kingdom of Benin in, in present day Nigeria in 1897 and I believe you know these are jakes man you see when, 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 when you go to that side of the world you're gonna find a I believe it's called the um the port of Benin something like that and it's where you know that they, 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 this is where you know that they, they were um moving slaves you know from these ports to be sold into slavery all across the world it says the bronzes were subsequently, oh boy, but um, you know, it says bronze, brass, and ivory, and those are all colors, you know, that, you know, is used here and there to describe, you know, the, the, the first, first and foremost, our Lord, the Most High, and the prophets of the Bible, you know, having um, skin like bronze or brass as if it burned in a furnace. It says the bronzes were subsequently distributed across the world and hundreds are currently held in German museums. Nigeria N Nigeria has sought their return for decades, so you see. And this is show you that A Esau is running out of power, man. Okay, Esau he's losing his power and everything that he has done now he has to pay for it. Okay. And everything that he has done now is um um coming back, you know. Now it's all, you know, starting to, um, I'll grab this real quick. But now it's all starting to smack him in the face, man. You see? 
And that's that's the thing. When, when, whenever you take something unrighteously, you know, at some point in time, you're gonna have to pay for it. If you do anything wicked, at some point in time, you're gonna have to pay for it, man. Second Ezra chapter six verse eight, and he said unto me, from I from from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, because Jacob, which are the so-called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians, and Esau, are you so-called white people, you know, we are two separate nations, you know, or two um. Um, we are um, I, I, how you say? I guess you could say mortal enemies. You see, and two separate nations that were going to rule on on the, on, on on this earth. And right now, the so-called white man is in rulership. Esau is, is in rulership. But it says Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, meaning when they were born from their mother's womb, Rebecca, because Esau and Jacob were, were uh, twins, unidentical twins. And they were born from, from their mother's uh, womb. Um, when they came out, Esau came out first as the elder brother. But Jacob came out after him, holding his heel as, as, as he came out. And I was spiritual because I was showing you that as this place is destroyed, the new, a new world is being established. And it's going to be our kingdom that's going to reign forever. So that's why Esau, you know, he had his time to rule. He had his time to take, 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 kill, kill, slaughter. But now it's, hey, but now it's coming to be our time to take, 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 and kill, kill, slaughter, man. You see, there's a balance, man. Scripture says an unjust balance is an abomination to the Most High God. So the Most High God is a just power. He gave everybody a chance to rule. All these nations had a chance to rule. But ultimately, the kingdom was uh, promised to um, Jacob, man. For Esau it is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? So, hey, man. Um, you know, what we're seeing right now is the end is the end of Esau's world, the end of Esau's kingdom. So when we say the end of the world, we're not saying that the world is going to implode on itself and, you know, there's, there's going to be, we all, we, we, the whole, you know, the human race is about, about to just be, you know, terminated. Nah, man, what this means is that, you know, the, the current world we're living in right now today with this so-called white man ruling over us, this white man, so-called white man in power. You know, making all the rules and laws and, you know, everybody got to, you know, you know, pretty much be in subjection uh, uh, unto him. That's about to change, man. That's the world that's about to be destroyed. Okay, this era, this eon. Okay, so it's just like how you had the Roman era. You had the um, Egyptian era. You know, and those were all kingdoms that came and fell. Well, same thing with America. America is a kingdom that's coming and that's going to fall. You know, Esau, this, this white supremacy, this Edomite rulership is a, is a kingdom. Or or a um a uh, a error that's came and it is falling. Uh, Galatians chapter six verse seven: Be not deceived; the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. You see, so they these devils, you know, they sowed. To, 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 to the flesh Okay and the scripture says Whatsoever a man soweth That shall he also reap So this man is going to reap You know if Pretty much if You know Let by I mean um, An eye for an eye man You know if, if if you take somebody's eyeball out Then you expect your eyeball to get, to get uh, taken out You know and, and that's really just how You know the universe and the world works man You see Whatever you do You got to pay for it In some way form or fashion all right, but I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and uh, cl close out on this. Like I said, I won't make this too long. I got a couple more um, videos and lessons I want to knock out throughout the day, so I should be back. With that being said, I'm going to say, Call Halal, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kapadash, Brakatha. I pray this short lesson was edifying to the hopeful Alex God abroad. Shalom. Oh, yeah, and by the way, all the um, gold and silver that these nations have taken for, for has have taken or stolen from us, it's going to have to be returned. All right, and I and I, I've learned that in previous lessons. I'll probably go into it again soon, um, on a larger scale. But I'll praise lessons. Edifying to the full. Shalom.